Good day everyone, I am Ashley Kitty Mavanto, the leader of Group 1, aka The Coquettes. And we are here hindi lamang magpa-cute, but to educate you about how to solve some problems relating to limits. For letter A, answer each item and explain in your own words. Explain what the equation limit x equal to 6 means. It is possible for the equation to be true, yet f2 equal to 7. So first, explain what the equation limit fx equal to 6 means. When we say limit of the function of f of x is equal to 6, it's saying that as x is getting closer and closer to the specific value, the function of fx is approaches the 6. So let me prove it by using Desmos. Limitation of function fx equal to 6. So we created a table started from 0 to 1.99. So 0 from 1.99 is getting closer to 2. That's from left to right. And from right to left, we did create a table start, starting from 4 to 2.0001. To 4 to 2.001 is getting closer to 2. And yes, limit of x as x approaches to 2, f2 is already established to be equal to 6 or identify. And yet, f2 equal to 7 is undefined. So here's the table from both sides, which is from the left and the right. We can see on the table that the value of x is approaching to 2. And the value of the function of fx is approaching to 6. Ganun rin katulad sa right. So from the both sides, as the value of getting is getting closer to 2, the value of the function of fx is getting closer to 6. So now, let's proceed to the next question. Is it possible for the equation to be true, yet f2 equal to 7? We make a table, right? that x is approaching to 2 and fx is approaching 6. We're gonna use the value of the table to this example. Let's assume that our fx is equal to 2x plus 2. So we're just gonna substitute the value of x to the x and so it will become 2 times 0 plus 2 equals to 2. 2 times 1 plus 2 equals to 4. 2 times 1.5 plus 2 equals to 5. 2 times 1.94 equals to 5.98 and 2 times 1.999 equals to 5998. The first one is from the left to right and this time starting from the right to left and we're gonna start at 4 to 2.001 near the 2 like the first one. Again, we're gonna substitute. 2 times 4 plus 2 equals to 10. 2 times 3 plus 2 equals to 8. 2 times 2.5 plus 2 equals to 7. 2 times 2.1 plus 2 equals to 6.2. 2 times 2.01 plus 2 equals to 6.02. And lastly, 2 times 2.001 plus 2 is equals to 6.002. Lastly, let's substitute 2 from the function. 2x plus 2. 2 times 2 plus 2 is equal to 6. If we grab it from Desmos, as you can see, a point right to left that's starting to an end to 1.999, all the points are getting close to 2. And, we, and if we grab right to left starting from 4 going to 2.001, as you can see, the points are going to the 2 also. As you can see, limit of x as x approaches to 2, f2 is already established to be equal to 6 or identified. And yet, F2 equal to 7 is undefined. Question number 3. Suppose limit h of x as x approaches to 5 from the left is equal to 0 and limit h of x as x approaches to 5 from the right is equal to 0. Is it possible for limit h of x as x approaches to 5 to exist? So, we have here the given limit h of x as x approaches to 5 from the left is equal to 0 and limit h of x 
as x approaches the 5 from the right is equal to 1. As we can remember from our past lesson, the topic limit of a function, we call these two given as one-sided limit. But how can we tell that this is a one-sided limit? Because we have a given limit h of x as x approaches the 5 from the left is equal to 0, which is the left-handed and the limit h of x as x approaches the 5 from the right is equal to 1, which is the right hand. If we notice, the two limits has different values. So we can say that the limit h of x as x approaches the 5 from the left is not equal to limit of h of x as x approaches the 5 from the right. So, for our limit h of x as x approaches the 5 is what we call two-sided limit because it has no sign in exponent. Because of the two-sided limit are not equal. Therefore, we can say that limit h of x as x approaches the 5 is DNE or does not exist. I'll give an example that is connected to our given for you to be able to understand the problem. So we have here piecewise function 3x minus 15 if x is less than 5 and 4x minus 15 minus 4 if x is greater than or equal to 5. So we have to get our one-sided limit by using these equations. So, from the left, our equation will be 3x minus 15 because our condition is if x is less than 5. We have here limit 3x minus 15 as x approaches to 5 from the left. We are going to substitute the value of x which, which is 5. So we have here 3 times 5 minus 15. 3 times 5 is 15. Copy 15. 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. Therefore, the value of limit 3x minus 15 as x approaches to 5 from the left is 0. And then... From the right, we have 4x minus 15 minus 4 because the condition is if x is greater than or equal to 5. So our equation will be limit of 4x minus 15 minus 4 as x approaches to 5 from the right. Then let's substitute again the value of x. We have here 4 times 5 minus 15 minus 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Copy 15 and 4. 20 minus 15 is 5. Copy 4. Then 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. Therefore, the value of limit 4x minus 15 as x approaches to 5 from the right is equal to 1. So this is our two-sided limits. As we can see, they have different values. So the limit 3x minus 15 as x approaches to 5 from the left is equal to 0. Is not equal to limit 4x minus 15 minus 4 as x approaches to 5 from the right is equal to 1. Therefore, based on the given questions and to our example, they are both not equal. For the final answer, limit h of x as x approaches to 5 is t and e or does not exist. 
for question number 4. Suppose limit m of x as x approaches to 10 from the right is equal to infinity. Is it possible for limit m of x as x approaches to 10 to exist? So the given is limit of m of x as x approaches to 10 from the right is equal to infinity. So tatanda natin guys na kapag ganito, kapag yung sagot natin ay infinity, Ang ibig sabihin lang niyan ay yung limit natin ay walang restriction or ano tanda natin na without bound kapag in, ano ang equal natin ay infinity. So is it possible for limit of m of x as x approaches to 10 to exist? The answer is no. Hindi siya mag-exist. Kasi kapag naglagay tayo ng value dito sa x natin o sa function natin, infinite lang yung kakalabasan niya. Or yung ang sagot niya is infinite lang. Meaning, dire diretso lang siya. Wala siyang um, specific value. That's why it doesn't exist. For example, is limit of 1 over x minus 10 as x approaches to 10. So, tingnan muna natin yung denominator natin. So, x minus 10 is equal to uh, 0. So, magiging ano lang yan, limit of uh, 1 over x. So, from the right side, gagamit tayo ng table of values para malaman natin or makuha natin yung values ng right side and left side natin. So, mapapansin natin sa right side natin, may positive sign tayo sa limit. So, gamit ang table of values, yung mga values ng x natin ay isa-substitute natin. So, ang mangyari ay um, yung 1 natin, i-divide -divide. Di natin sa lahat ng f dito, lahat ng nakaline dyan, yung f. So, 1 over 0 0.1 is equal to 10. Yan sa fx. Then, 1 over 0 0.01 is equal to 100. Then, 1 over 0 0.001 is equal to 1000. Then, so, mapapansin natin na habang padagdag tayo ng padagdag ng 0, ay patas naman ng patas yung uh, value natin. So, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa left side natin. So, ulitin lang din natin yung ginawa natin sa right side. So, 1 over negative 0 0.1 is equal to negative 10. Then, 1 over 0 0.1 is equal to negative 100. So, dadagdagan lang natin ng 0, 0, 0. So, napapansin natin na habang dinadagdagan natin ng uh, 0 is palit siya ng palit. So, therefore, yung two-sided limits natin is itong positive is magiging uh, positive infinity siya. So, yung negative sign naman is magiging negative infinity siya. Kasi wala silang um, limitations, wala silang uh, specific value para ano, para makuha yung sakot. Kaya naman yung limit of 1 over x minus 10 as x approaches to 10 natin ay does not exist. For letter B, determine the values of C for which lim r of x does not exist. So below, we have a piecewise functions where r of x is equal to x minus 2 over x plus 5 if x is less than or greater than negative 4. r of x is equal to 4 if x is greater than negative 4 but less than 0. r of x is equal to x squared minus 7x plus 4 if x is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 7. And lastly, r of x is equal to x minus 3 over x minus 8 squared if x is greater than 7. So first, how do we determine the values of c? Titingin lang tayo doon sa conditions ng apat na functions and as you can see, there are three numbers which are negative 4, 
0, and 7. That will be our C's para makita kung saang si jaan yung may limit na hindi nage exist And let's start with x at negative 4. Yung first two function lang ang ating gagamitin since ayun lang yung function na namit natin yung condition. First, we have to find the limit as x approaches to negative 4 from the left of r of x. The values of negative 4 from the left is where x is less than negative 4. Therefore, we're going to use the first function. x minus 2 over x plus 5. Kapag sinubstitute natin yung negative 4 dyan, that will be negative 4 minus 2. That is negative 6 over negative 4 plus 5. That is over 1. The answer is negative 6. Hence, we will use the second function which is 4. Ayan na yung sagot, 4. So now we have two one-sided limits. And as you can see, ang limit nung R of X as X approaches to negative 4 from the left is negative 6, while the limit of R of X as X approaches to negative 4 from the right is positive 4. Nag-equal ba sila? No, they aren't equal. Therefore, the limit of R of X as X approaches to negative 4 does not exist.